Hey everybody, Rich at Motor Diag. Today we're having a look at a little VW up and we have no rear wipers, we've got no fans, we've got various things like this not working. Right, so the first place we've gone to is the fuses. Now the fuses this end are 20 and 30 amp R4. Um, my heater controls and also for the cigarette lighter as well which isn't working and these fuses are completely dead I've got no readings on either side of them no voltage whatsoever so I have started looking at this a bit um, I thought this was going to be you know a quick little job but I've had to strip out some panels so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go over to a wiring down quickly and I'll show you where I to right so I've done the hard work and found out where everything's going first so this is a relay behind the dash. This is the one that I want to get involved in here. Uh, this supplies my fuses that I want for the rear wiper, for the fag lighter, for all this, all the other different things that we are missing in this car. So we've got a supply in on this yellow, and then obviously that goes off and feeds where it needs to be necessary. Sorry, falling over here. This brown on pin two, that goes straight to earth. We've got a supply in on this one, so we'll have a look at this relay quickly and see what our supplies and stuff are, and then we'll see what we're missing. See if we're missing this, this, the earth. Is it a severed wire here and it's not getting to anything? I don't know, but this is where we're going to start off. As I say, I've done the donkey work here looking at this and trawling through all these diagrams, following the wires to a common place, which is this, which is the where is it to? And it's a 75 relay connection. Or is it J680? J680, yeah. Terminal 75 voltage supply relay. So that's our common denominator on all of our components. As I say, I've done the donkey work for you. Right, so undone some screws up the side, pulled this panel all down out of the way to get to our relays behind here. A bit of glare on relay we're dealing with is this one up here it's the one I want to get out well, it looks like I've got a couple of little tabs push tab down tab up and it should come out I might do this off camera so I don't drop everything I'm gonna take that out we're gonna quickly check this relay and then we'll see what supplies we've got behind here right so we've got the relay out and we're gonna quickly test this so continuity mode on the multimeter and we're attached to the big fat terminals here which is I don't know three and four three and four and we got one this top terminal and two the bottom terminal now on the wiring diagram two is the ground so we'll put a power probe on here so it lights up when I click this we should get a beep if it doesn't fall off which is about right Let's try and do this one hand We've got continuity for it, so the relay should work. So we're good on that. Get that out of the way. Right, so ignition is on. So what have we got here? So we've got 12 volts on that terminal. Should have nothing on the terminal opposite. Uh, terminal 2, our ground is the top, that definitely shows as a ground. And there's not a lot going on this bottom one, certainly not 12 volts with the ignition on. So what we can do is if we, we can jump that across to there and see if that works, or since I'm just stood here for power probe, we can put that in. And then, yeah, there we go. Don't know if you can hear that. That's our heaters back on when I put power through that terminal there. So that's the right hand terminal. Let's see if I can get in this a bit better. That right hand terminal, which is terminal four. So we've got terminal two at the bottom, top, terminal one at the bottom, left is terminal three, right is terminal four. So four supplies all those fuses and stuff three is a big supply two should be an earth and one should be coming from our ignition switch 
which I'm suspecting at the moment. So we jumped that, we proved that all the system works. You could just jump those two big terminals together with a fused jumper wire and that would sort that. So we can put a test light maybe on this terminal two, make sure we got a good earth. And then apart from that, we're down to terminal one. Right, so we've got test light going to earth on that top one. And if I touch it onto a live, we're lighting up. So we've got an earth there. So we are down to this terminal here, which comes up to our ignition switch up behind here to one of these wires. Uh, I'll have a quick look on the wiring diagram again and see which one it is. Right, so our terminal one, this is the one that goes to the ignition switch here. Uh, follow the wiring diagram, that's where it goes. So if we haven't got 12 volts coming out the back of the ignition switch, the ignition switch is junk, that's our problem. We can put a live there and just confirm that and then we're done. Right, so I'm back probed into the second wire down, which is the black and red on the back of the ignition switch. And we're in pin one on the relay and we have continuity there we're beeping away so if i well i have the ignition on it's just, oh, i don't usually use this this isn't even mine right so we have zero volts coming out of there which is no good someone's using something noisy right let's put this relay back in here we go relays back in i've still got this wire here i'm going to pull it out of there so if i can try and do this one-handed i apologize about all the banging noises we can get a power probe in here so you can see that's there don't know if you can hear that Hear the vents going. So that's put me putting power straight through there, straight on the back of the ignition switch there, and that is setting our relay off. So we have everything else we need. This car is going to need an ignition switch, which turns on that what was it? Terminal 75 relay, which is at top left this new ignition switch and we'll have our rear wiper back we'll have our fag lighter back we've got our blowers back everything working so um, apparently this is a relatively common fault first time I've come across it personally but you know you never know what you're gonna come across every day so uh, thanks for watching and come along for the next one